Hi, welcome to my first video tutorial about Reason Record. I'm going to uh, show you how to make a fat bass uh, sound to use in dubstep or drum and bass. Uh, first off, uh, I'm going to start with uh, placing a combinator. I'm going to call that bass. And I'm going to place an instance of Tor. I'm going to initialize the patch and then show a programmer. I am going to start out with an FM pair with the modulation on 2 and the FM amount at about 50. The octave, I'm going to pull that one down one step and I'm going to place a second FM pair with the modulation to 2 and pull it fully down to 0. Of course you have to enable the sound going to check uh, what sound we have at the moment. Great. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, we have a bit uh, work to do with that sound. I'm going to uh, pull down the frequency until about 200 Hertz. And I'm going to fully kill the envelope amount. Uh, also very important when you use a Tor and you're making a bass sound, uh, it's very important to put uh, the key mode into mono legato. Uh, that's uh, to make sure uh, only one sound plays, uh, one sound plays at the, at that time. Um, also, the amp envelope, the decay and sustain, you have to put on maximum. It's uh, zero dBs. in your songs if you want, but uh, we're going to take it a step further. Uh, of course, to uh, make a dubstep drum and bass uh, bass sound, uh, it has to wobble. So we're going to create a wobble. I'm placing the LFO one in the Tor programmer. The amount, uh, usually I put it uh, around 80 or 90. And I'm going to send it to the filter one frequency knob. Now when uh, I'm going to play, you get the wobble, but first uh, I'm also going to enable the key sync and the tempo sync, and I uh, change the rate of the LFO to 3 sixteenths. Let's check it out. That's a nice bass sound we've got here. Uh, it's also possible to change uh, the waveform, but you can also uh, use the reverse sawtooth. I'm going to put it back on the sine wave. Now to get uh, a bit, a bit of more uh, um, edge of your bass. I'm going also. I'm going to create a Scream 4 distortion unit. So you can uh, change uh, some settings. Uh, I usually use a distortion. Uh, the tone I put it uh, to maximum to uh, to support uh, the higher end of the bass. And the presence, uh, mostly I put it uh, around half or a bit less than half. Of course, um, to get it exactly right, you can place uh, an M-Class equalizer on there. And you can uh, choose the parts of the bass you like most and give it a bit more color. can use the, the low cut 
key if you want to add a sub base uh, to that. Uh, it's best uh, to add a sub base also, so uh, the two sounds doesn't uh, don't collide uh, with each other. Uh, so uh, this was my first tutorial. I hope uh, you've learned a bit uh, about it. Uh, more coming soon.